after Zootopia and Jungle Book, and yeah, let's forget about Alice too, Disney is back with the next family-friendly movie this year, the remake of 1977's Pete's Dragon, or as it is called in Germany, Elliot der Drache, and the original one was called Elliot das Schmunzelmonster. <laughs> Try to repeat that, Schmunzelmonster. <laughs> Pete's Dragon feels like a combination of The Good Dinosaur and The Jungle Book and maybe E.T. It's a simple story about a little boy who loses his parents but finds a big new friend in the Dragon Elliot. When the first images were released people talked about the look of the dragon because unlike real dragons this one is furry. But you know what? That's perfect for him, because this isn't a cool dragon, no Game of Thrones killing machine. It's a dragon that's more like a dog and therefore you should be able to give him a big hug. And that's exactly what you want to do while watching this movie. I like Pete's Dragon quite a bit. It's a really basic story, but it has a lot of heart. It has a warm feeling to it and the forest landscapes and that little town feels so welcoming. It's a movie that feels very nostalgic and I wasn't even quite sure if it's even settled in today's time. There are no smartphones and it seems to be a little bit detached from our modern world. At first I thought it must have been shot somewhere near the Canadian border, but the lush forest you see is actually the Rotorua, Rotorua, Rotorua Redford Forest in New Zealand. The movie is a very loose remake of the 1977 film, but aside from its title and of course a boy slash dragon friendship, it's very different. I can't compare them directly as I myself never saw the original one. Should I? Please tell me, because I didn't grow up with it, but I think kids who will see this new one will have a great time. It also feels way more targeted towards children than for example the latest Jungle Book. It's very easy to follow and you can also count it as a weakness, but the characters are a little bit one-dimensional. But because of the great cast and that overall kind feeling towards it, I could easily forget about that. I wasn't into Bryce Dallas Howard while watching Jurassic World, but I simply loved her in this. She's able to give so much warmth to her character and to know I'm repeating myself, but yes, warmth is the one key aspect of this movie. You can feel it in the story, the characters, the cinematography, whose many lens flares would make J.J. Abrams proud and also in the music. There are a few country songs in the movie with lyrics and all and I'm really looking forward to listen to the soundtrack in the future. My favorite scene was the moment when Pete tries to escape from the little town after he has been found in the woods. He is climbing down the window of his hospital room, jumps onto a school bus, all while there is a powerful song playing over it. There's also one very emotional moment where Elliot tries to find his best and simply only friend in the world and heads to the town by night time. It's an emotional moment and the movie has quite some of those and you don't have to be ashamed to shed a tear or two. But I can't see some people not liking it very much because of its childlike simple nature and because of its very romanticized approach to nature and living in the countryside. But these are the aspects that I enjoyed the most. And now I totally forget about the rest of the cast because Pete's Dragon has so much talent involved. With almost 80 years old by now, this is the first Disney project for Robert Redford and it's terrific to see him in the role of the old wise adventurer. Carl Urban plays kind of the villain, even though he's not really evil enough to call him a true villain, but again, I like that. He has some funny moments and maybe he will learn by the end as well. Pete is played by Oakes Fagley and he does a great job too. He's not as impressive as the boy in the jungle book, but maybe that's because there are many other great actors all around him for most of the time. So overall, I definitely recommend Pete's Dragon. If you like Disney movies or family movies in general, if you like to escape to the woods for some time and take part in a little harmless, but nevertheless emotional adventure, this could be for you. So in the end, I give Pete's Dragon 7 out of 10. Alright, that's it. Like always, please tell me in the comments below what you think about Pete's Dragon. Did you like the movie? Did you like the fairy appearance of the dragon? And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like.